Hello YouTubers, it's Wonder with Intense here. So today I kind of want to show you what's in my bag. So I used this bag on the Camino as well as the backpacking trip. So I kind of want to go over what is all in there. So this bag is only 10 pounds. Can you believe it? Only 10 pounds. I lived off everything in here for two months. It's amazing. So I kind of want to show you what I packed, where um, you can kind of see how it fits into your plans, where you might cut some weight off as well. Um, everything is posted below, feel free to check it out. Um, while you're here, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be posting a lot more here soon, um, about weekly. So I look forward to that. Also, don't forget to like the video. Over there, not over here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run through everything. I won't go into too much detail about what the items are, and I'll put all of that information down below in the description. Um, I will also put links to where you can purchase the items. Some of them will be affiliate links, such as, such as the Amazon stuff. Um, doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me make money if you do purchase it from there, but um, I'm not trying to do anything crazy or weird. All right, so I did bring a nanopuff. It's a Panagonia. Um, this was kind of my warm layer in case it was really cold. A lot of people bring fleece. I brought this and the Patagonia jacket uh, was perfect because I could use it as a pillow as well as just use it as the jacket. I also brought a rain jacket as well as some rain pants and those were actually really helpful. It did rain along the way, um, but you really can't know for sure if it's going to be raining or not the whole time you're gone. So it's something to kind of keep with you. And then I bought three bottom layers. And the one is a lightweight kind of convertible zip-off pants as well as some um, compression leggings. The compression leggings were very helpful and I used them a lot because my legs started to swell up with fluid after a couple days of walking and so it really helped to try to keep things from settling as well as helped when the sun was really brutal and I needed some break from the sun. And then some just athletic shorts. Uh, three shirts. I brought a long sleeve, a short sleeve, and a tank top. They were all merino. Um, I will post a video on the difference between uh, different kind of fabrics, but merino is what I chose mostly for its antibacterial properties. Loved it. I brought two pairs of underwear, just two. Um, wear one, wash one. I would actually wear it into the shower when I'd go take a shower, and then I would take them off halfway through and go about cleaning them. I only brought one sports bra, and mind you, I was probably wearing it when I was walking. If I washed it, then I just went without a bra. I'm not very endowed in that area. It was really easy for me to just go without a bra when I didn't need it. I also only brought two pairs of socks, or two sets of socks. Um, I did do the double layers of socks to help kind of prevent hiking blisters. So I did the um, liner sock as well as the height, thicker hiking sock. And um, these are all different brands because I was trying a lot of different brands out at the time. I also brought a silk um, ar hand warmers and arm warmers. I don't know if anyone has ever used these before, but I love them. Um, if, if I wanted more versatility with my clothes, if I wanted to wear the t-shirt or if I'm just wearing the tank top and there comes a breeze, these were really easy to just throw on quickly and really useful. I also brought a half buff. Some people brought a full buff, but I didn't like the way it looked super thick on my hair. The half buff was used to hold my little flyaway hairs back, as well as keep my ears warm in the morning. Um, you can use it as a hair tie. There's a few things you can do with it. Then I also brought this scarf. And this scarf you can use for so much stuff. I mean, these are always the best things to have or things that you can use for everything. It was long enough that I was able to wrap it into a dress, a skirt. You can use it as a barrier between you and your bunk neighbors. And when I showered, I would use this to wrap around me. And um, after I got done showering, I'd put my underwear and my sports bra on and I'd wrap this on and go back to my, my bunk. And the reason for this is just because my, camp, my towel that I brought is small. This is literally the towel I used don't regret it at all. I was very happy with the way I had this set up. 
Um, I'd get done showering, I would dry myself off with this towel, and then I would just uh, wrap myself up with that, with a sports bra and underwear on, and I would be good to go to my bunk and have no problems at all. So that's kind of the clothing options, but since we kind of used the towel, I'll transition into my bathroom goods. So I did bring a first aid kit, and it was basically a little Ziploc that had a few different sizes of band-aids, as well as um, some antiseptic, some alcohol wipes, burn cream, steam cream. I have a couple needles and white and blue, uh, black thread for sewing or for uh, blister management. I used a shampoo bar for my hair so it wasn't liquid. I also washed my clothes with that. And this is the ligates. And then um, I also had a bar of soap that was for my face as well as my body. It is for um, acne as well as body stuff. Um, I did make these cute little bags to put both my soaps in uh, while I was traveling. It helps lather them up and easy to hang to dry off your backpack or wherever. Really helpful. Then um, I have a toothbrush and a container that you put, uh, I put my deodorant in it actually because I had a glass bottle and I didn't want it to break or the weight so I actually emptied it into a container and used that. Some uh, lotion that has some block in it. I used a moon cup for sanitary purposes for female stuff and a little pick for my hair. Then we also have, I also have this eye mask it kind of um, threw in with all this stuff. Eye mask and earplugs. I have to sleep with a uh, mask when I, when I sleep, like I can't sleep without it, so I had to have this. Here, I, my electronics is very small, so I did bring a camera, which is in here. If you want more information about the camera, you can see below. I brought also the charger for the camera, a backup battery, um, my iPhone charger for my phone, as well as this little adapter. Honestly, a little adapter like this was working perfect. Uh, you can buy these along the way, but they're really hard to find unless you're in the big cities and you can find them in the small stores. But honestly, I looked a lot. They're, it, it's pretty hard to find. So I do recommend buying one beforehand. Um, all my items can take 240, so I used just an adapter. I didn't need a converter for any of my things, but double check before you do something like that. Then, I this is my favorite thing I brought with me. These are my, my hiking poles. My hiking poles are the Black Diamond Z poles. They were very useful. I use them every day and I love them. Some random stuff that I have was a utility knife um, or a multi-tool knife. It was really helpful for me. A flashlight, carabiner just for whatever. And this kind of thing. Uh, it's a fork, spoon, kind of knife combo. I broke mine along the way while I was shoveling some peanut butter out of a peanut peanut butter jar. So, but it still works. I still kept using it. Of course, for water, you're gonna need something to carry it in. Some people bring water bottles. I brought the platypus. It is lighter weight, and that's why I went with this brand. And it works really well. There's also, so my shoes. These are my, after my hard day's work, um, shoes as well as shower shoes, some hiking shoes. Then I also had a, a few stuff bags. The dry bags are what I use to try to keep things dry in my bag rather than a ring cover um, or a poncho. So I use dry bags. A sleeping sheet to sleep with and it pre-treated it with pyrethrin to keep bug, bed bugs away. I also brought a sleeping bag. Uh, not a lot of people are gonna wanna bring a sleeping bag, but for me, I freeze a lot and I did not regret bringing it. Um, there were a few nights, especially at the very beginning of my walk, where it got down into the 40s and there was no heater, and windows would be open, and it was freezing. So there was definitely some nights that that bag was really useful. Then there were some nights when it was hot, but since I was having swelling in my legs and I was having knee issues, I did actually use the sleeping bag and its stuff bag, and I would just put that underneath my, my feet like a pillow. And so I did actually be able to use it still. So great, it was useful. Uh, also, you need some shades and a hat. And finally, last but not least, there is a bag or some kind of purse or wallet that you wanna take with you, whatever you're comfortable with. I like these bags. I usually wear them on my waist. And I also put my camera on here. 
and I walked with this everywhere, and then inside you can put your passports and your um, anything you need in there, money and all that stuff. And that one was with me all the time. I didn't worry about setting my bag outside before I went into a store. This could just be with me. And finally, the backpack. I have the Tempest 40 right here, and I have done a review on it already. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click the link at the end of the video, or I also put a link down below that you can check out this backpack for more information about it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping all this stuff up and putting it in my bag because like this, it looks huge. It looks like I brought a ton of stuff, but it really doesn't, isn't that much. Like it fits really small in the bag and I had a lot of extra space to carry lots of food. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and show that for you. this video if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button the red button down there and I look forward to sharing with you a lot more tips and tricks about the Camino or hiking or traveling um, as well as actual vlogs of my travels so I hope you enjoy I'll see you soon bye bye